Hey guys, how are you doing? Here we are again with a new and first video for this week. In this video, we will look at Starship testing updates, an update on NASA's cursed rocket, SLS and SpaceX's delayed launch tomorrow. Today is Monday, which means a new round of testing for the full-stack Starship. Once again, they loaded some chilled cryogenic propellant into the methane tank of Booster 7. They did the same test on Friday. Seems like they didn't get the data they wanted last week, and let's hope they did it today. What we expect next is a static fire of Booster 7 separately without S24. If we see the destacking of the Starship from the booster, we can hope for a full 33-engine static fire in the coming days. And Starship S25 also underwent a cryogenic proof testing at suborbital pad A. NASA's SLS rocket is kinda cursed for sure. On Friday last week, the rocket was rolled out to the pad for a third launch attempt on November 14. Now, a subtropical storm. Nicole is coming toward the east coast of Florida later this week. Weather forecasts predict that it can turn into a hurricane with high gusts of winds. The SLS rocket may withstand the winds but the launch schedule may get delayed by the storm. There are no official words from NASA on this matter. A hurricane watch has already been issued and the governor of Florida has declared a state of emergency in 31 counties. The last launch attempt was also scrubbed due to Hurricane Ian in early October. Due to the same bad weather condition, SpaceX's launch of its 52nd mission of the year tomorrow has been delayed. Intelsat's Galaxy 31 and 32 satellites were supposed to launch from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, but now it is not launching until November 12. A Falcon 9 will carry these two satellites to orbit. What I am gonna say next is not what we usually hear. Unfortunately, the first stage booster supporting this mission, Booster B-1051 will be expended after stage separation. This will be its 14th and final flight. Thank you for your service B-1051, we will remember you. B-1051 used to be the record-breaker booster by being the first booster to complete 8, 9, 10, and 12 launch and landing. Blue Origin's second BE-4 engine has been integrated into the Vulcan rocket at ULA's Decatur facility. Tori Bruno shared a video showing the timelapse of the booster from arriving till the integration. It will undergo several tests for its maiden flight next year. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching.